Hi, it's me Tutor Binod. In this video, we are going to review about projectile motion. The projectile motion is a motion when an object is thrown into the atmosphere so that it falls under the action of gravity following a certain parabolic path known as trajectory is called projectile motion. Let's now find the path for projectile. Uh, we are also going to see the maximum height, time of flight and the horizontal range of it. Since it's two dimensional problem, we can split it into one dimensional problem of two kinds. One is horizontal along the x-axis whereas other is vertical along the y-axis. Let us focus on horizontal axis or the horizontal motion. For horizontal motion we have x equals to x naught plus v naught x times t but we start from origin so I can cancel out x naught so that I can have x equals to but the x component of velocity is v x naught which is v naught cosine of theta whereas my y component of initial velocity is v naught sine theta so in this case my v naught x is v naught cosine of theta times t if i want to solve for t i will get t as x over v naught cosine of theta so let me write this as equation 1 over here. Similarly, if I want to do the same thing for vertical motion, I will have y minus y naught equals to v naught y times t minus half gt square. This is the equation of motion along the y axis. But I start from origin so that I can neglect the y naught because y naught is 0. So I can get any y for the time t as y equals to v naught y the value of v naught y is v naught sine theta so v naught sine theta times t minus half gt square now let me replace the value of t so that i can see what i can get so v naught sine theta if the value of t is being replaced i will get x over v naught cos theta minus of g t is x over v naught cosine of theta so x square over v naught square cos square theta so i can cancel out v naught so that the equation in terms of y becomes y equals to x tan theta as sine theta over cos theta is tan theta minus half g x square over v naught square cos square theta so if you closely see this equation this is the form of parabola as y equal to a x plus b x square we get the equation for the path which is parabolic that's why the path followed by the projectile is parabolic now let us find out the maximum height time of flight and horizontal range let me recall the equation which we just get t equals to x over v naught cosine of theta this is my equation 1 whereas my equation 2 will be y equals to v naught sine of theta times t minus half gt square let me say this as equation 2 now for the time of flight time of flight is the duration of projectile when it starts from here to the point where it ends the whole duration of the time is known as time of flight let us say that as uppercase t since whenever it hit the ground the vertical displacement y is zero because whenever you fire the projectile the vertical displacement keeps on increasing until it's hit the maximum displacement now it begins to decrease 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 and it becomes zero when it just hit the ground so let us use that condition in order to find the time of flight so for vertical motion y equals to v naught sine theta now let me replace this small t by t because i want to find the whole duration of the projectile so i replace this by uppercase t minus half gt square 
now y is 0 I can solve for t as t v naught sin theta minus half g t equals to 0 since t cannot be 0 so I can have v naught sin theta minus half g t equals to 0 if I solve from t I can get half g t equals to v naught sin theta therefore my t will be 2 v naught sin theta by g in this way we can find the time period of the projectile now let us find the horizontal range can be found by using the horizontal velocity uh, the horizontal velocity remain constant throughout the motion so my horizontal distance covered will be my horizontal velocity times the time of the flight so I can have x as v naught v naught x is nothing but v naught cos sine of theta v naught cos theta times my t is which I just found as 2 v naught sine theta over z now if I combine this two I will get v naught square and two sine theta cosine theta is sine two theta over z so this is the value of x in this way we can find the range for the projectile as v square sine two theta over z also we can see when the range is maximum the range is maximum whenever the value of sine 2 theta becomes maximum and the value of sine is maximum and it's equal to 1 so whenever 2 theta at 90 degrees sine 2 theta is sine 90 which is 1 so which will give us maximum range so 2 theta must be equal to 90 in this case theta equals to 45 so whenever the theta is 45 degree the horizontal range is maximum also if you fire this as at an angle 90 minus theta then your sine 2 theta terms becomes sine 180 minus 2 theta which will give us the same range as that of the theta in this way we can find the time of the flight and horizontal range also let us see for maximum height or y max so v y square equals to v naught of y square minus 2 z y so this becomes 0 so that my 2 z y equals to v naught of y square v naught of y is v naught sine theta which square is v naught square sine square theta therefore my maximum height would be y which is equal to v naught square sine square theta over 2z in this way we can find the maximum height time of flight and the horizontal range for the projectile when it is thrown at an angle theta now let us see another special case of projectile now let us see an special case now let us see a special case where our object is thrown horizontally from the top of the tower of height h we are supposed to find the time of flight or the time period and the horizontal range it covers while it hits the ground so let us start with horizontal motion for horizontal motion i have x t equals to x naught plus v naught x t plus zero similarly my vertical motion the equation for the vertical motion would be h plus v naught y minus half g t square since i throw the ball or the object horizontally my initial vertical motion would be zero so this term vanishes also also while it hits the ground the vertical displacement becomes zero so our y t is zero when it hits the ground 
so it becomes 0 equals to h minus half g t square so my g t square is 2 times h therefore my t is root over 2 h over g in this way we can find the time of the flight whenever the ball is thrown horizontally from top of the tower with initial velocity v0 similarly the range can be found as x equals to v0 x times t because my x0 is 0 as I start from here and I take this as origin the value of x coordinate would be 0 over here so I can write x0 as 0 so my value would be v0 x times t so my x would be v0 x times the time or the duration of the flight is here which is 2h over z root over so 2h over z root over 2h over z so x equals to v0 x root over 2h over z in this way we can find the time period t and range x whenever the object is thrown horizontally from top of the tower in this way we can deal with the projectile motion i hope this video helps you understand projectile motion thank you stay safe and healthy